So 56% of people on this poll have challenges when it comes to figuring out their journal aesthetic and believe me, I have been there. So today I'm taking you guys through my thought process for my Put On Me journal spread to hopefully help you guys understand how to figure out your stitching binder aesthetic and layout. So first, let's define aesthetic. So aesthetic means pleasing in appearance or of relating to or dealing with aesthetics or the beautiful. So taking this definition and applying it to journal spreads to me would mean creating a spread that's cute and appealing. So when I'm preparing to make a spread aesthetic, I start with an idea. So your idea could be something you already like, whether it's Sanrio characters, pastel rainbow colors, the office TV show, which are a few of my favorite things. So whatever your interests are, you could start there or if you like Katera, I literally don't know. Then a pro tip would be to look up an aesthetic on Google. So for example, when we search Sanrio Aesthetic Journal, we're getting a lot of Hello Kitty spread ideas, which could inspire you. So since Karomi was the requested idea for this spread, my next step is to decide the colors to use. So I started taking note of the colors associated with Karomi, which are typically purple, black, pink, and white. So knowing this, my preference was to bring out more of a purple theme for this spread. So depending on your idea or theme, your colors may vary. And then next, I decided to gather all the stationery that will help complete this Karomi aesthetic. And I'm starting with the Karomi stickers. Since she's the overall theme, I want to make a journal spread for. So as I go through and pick them out, we can see some Karomi stickers have the four colors I mentioned before and others have rainbow in it, so they have a mix of colors. And now I'm gonna go through my other deco stickers and pick out what I think will complement the Karomi aesthetic. So once I choose those stickers, I think about other stationery that I want. So maybe some washi tape, maybe a specific gel pen. I might need tape and scissors, maybe some deco paper to go with the spread. And since some of the Karomi stickers have rainbow colors in them, I could also incorporate rainbow washi tape into my spread and I decide on the rainbow hearts pattern. Now I wanna grab the purple refills as my background for this spread. And by the way, you don't have to use purple refills. That's the beauty of creating your own journal spread. You always have the option to choose whichever color you think is best for you. So now that I have my stationery together, I start figuring out the sections and layout of my journal spread. So with this part, I know that I wanna write on both refill pages, so I know I need to keep that in mind. I also wanna add washi tape on the bottom, so I need to remember that for spacing. And I know I wanna decorate this spread using the stickers I picked out earlier. So I have three different sections that I want to keep in mind. Now I could have did this spread completely differently. So for example, I could have literally just had a photo of Karomi on one side with deco stickers surrounding it. And I could have only written on one side or I could have did just one page with Karomi stickers all over it with no writing. So all that to say, you have options when it comes to making your spread aesthetic. So there's no one set way to decorate or section your spread. You don't have to add stickers or washi tape, or you don't even have to write in it if you don't want to. It is literally up to your style and creativity. However, for me, I knew I wanted those three sections. And for the layout, I like to play around with my stationery to see where I want everything to go before I actually apply anything or start writing. So I like to lay out my stickers that I can on my binder refills first. So I try to balance it out. So for example, say I know I want my washi tape at the bottom of my journal spread. So I need to account for that. And I just go through and see where I want what. And then after that, I can always change it up before applying things for real, for real. And you can even lightly mark with a pencil where you want certain things to go to see how it may look. And even if you end up changing your mind, that is perfectly okay. There are no journaling police telling you what to do or what not to do. Again, it is up to you and your creativity. So now that you have all that together, you're now ready to start creating your aesthetic journal spread. So for this one, I started with my washi tape since I knew this would impact my writing and deco space. And then next I go through and start decoing with my stickers being sure that I leave enough room for writing. And once this part looks complete to me, I start my last step, which is the writing portion. And once you're done, you can always look over your spread and see which parts you like or may want to do differently. 
And I think it also helps to see how different colors and styles and stationery ended up coming together, which is one of my favorite parts. By the way, if you want more tips on how to make your journal spreads aesthetic, be sure to check out the video I pinned in the comments down below and let me know which part from this video was your favorite and I'll see you in the next one, kittens. Adios.